My name is Lanier Bonner and my craft is handmade leather goods. In the fall of 2015, I had the idea that I wanted to make a leather duck call lanyard, something I'd never seen. I had no experience with leather, but something I thought would be pretty cool and last for a long time. So that kind of started the whole journey into leather work and all things leather. Came up with an idea. It was a rolled lanyard, no core, just 100% leather. Never seen one made, looked everywhere I could look. Pretty positive that was the first rolled leather duck call lanyard. Since then, there's been, there's been some more made, but I'm proud to say that mine was the first. I looked everywhere you could look, and at the time, there was no other rolled leather lanyards being made. I was proud to have made the very first one. Ended up giving a couple out to my buddies, and next thing I knew, probably two months later, um, one of them had gave one to somebody somehow, and that guy had posted on Facebook, and I'm pretty sure I had somewhere around 20 to 30 Facebook messages that day of people wanting to know where they could get a rolled leather lanyard. More and more messages started coming in of people wanting to order lanyards and how they could find me. Um, realized that I kind of need to put a name on this thing and thought about it and just happened to land on Flatland Duck Lanyards. Um, at the time, all I was making was lanyards and that seemed to fit pretty good. So I continued to work with leather and in a short amount of time, it just kind of took over and soon became my full-time job. And I was doing a lot more than just lanyards and um, really did the name Flatland Duck Lanyards fit, but kind of kept me in the box of just lanyards. I wanted people to know that um, I was making other stuff as well. So at that point, I transitioned to Flatland Duck Co. My wife and I realized that business was growing faster than a one-man operation out of my shop um, you know if we wanted to, I wanted to keep doing it we needed to transition to something bigger uh, so I, I kind of started looking around for opportunities just seeing what was out there and um, I just happened to be at the vet and Dr. Halford was talking to me and mentioned Spence and Rolling Thunder which I'd known, you know, I hadn't met Spence and I knew what Rolling Thunder was. Um, so I looked Spence up on Facebook and literally that morning he had posted a position for a customer service rep. I had no experience or any qualifications for a customer service rep and didn't really have any desire to be a customer service rep, but thought it might be an opportunity to get in front of Spence and just kind of talk to him and you know, learn a little bit more about Rolling Thunder and just kind of see where it went. Sent him an email, said, hey, I was interested, here's my resume. Um, and about a week later, I heard back from him, asked me if I wanted to come in for an interview. And I was like, I sure do. And told to Sydney and she's like, what, customer service? You, that, you don't know anything about it. And I was like, I know, but something may come of it. I think it's a good opportunity. I'm not gonna pass it up. So the day before I was supposed to meet with Spence, I um, made a leather portfolio with some green leaf inlay, um, pretty sharp, just to kind of take with me, see if, see if it caught his eye. And the following day, um, I arrived Rolling Thunder, walked in to meet with him, and within being in the room for five minutes, he said, dang, I like that portfolio, where'd you get that? I said, funny you should ask, uh, I made that. Um, and we got to talking, so seems like my plan kind of worked out. After the interview, um, called Sydney, told her, you know, I thought it went great. I uh, wasn't sure really where it was gonna go, but we had a good meeting. And about a week later, I got an email, said, you know, we're, we're sorry, but you didn't get selected for the customer service position. But I have an idea. Spence had the idea of starting a leather goods line within Rolling Thunder. Was looking for somebody to kind of head that up. So the next four or five months, we went back and forth, bouncing ideas off each other. Um, just trying to work out all the kinks and see exactly if this would work and if it would, how was it gonna work. So from here, the next hurdle we had to cross was what were we gonna call this thing? 
Um, and this, I told Spence that, you know, I'm gonna be under your roof. Um, my products are gonna have your name on them. I may be the man behind the scene doing all the work, but they're gonna have Rolling Thunder's logo and name on it. Let's leave Flatland out of it. The staple product um, it was going to be the lanyard. It's what started everything. Um, all, the, all my lanyards start out as a veg tan double shoulder cut of leather. Um, each individual strip is hand cut, hand dyed. You know, every hole is hand punched, hand stitched. There's no machines involved in making the lanyards. And the cool thing about the lanyards is, you know, Anybody can set it up however they want. Um, if you want three duck calls and a dog whistle, you can set it up that way. Um, if you want six goose calls, you can do that. Um, if you want one duck call, you can do that. Um, they're completely customizable to however you want to set them up. And we can also dye them any color you want. And you can have any color thread you want for the most part as well. And we're also gonna do the flat neck lanyards, um, which are just a little bit of a spin off of the original rolled lanyards. As duck hunters, um, we agreed that other than the lanyard, the other most used accessory is a duck tote, duck strap, something to carry your ducks with. Um, so the first item other than the lanyard we went with was a duck strap and due to Rolling Thunder's great relationship with Mossy Oak, um, we were able to offer a duck strap with original bottom land inlay. Um, the duck strap, you know, it's got brass rings on the end. Um, each side has a brass clip and off the clip, you can hold a limited duck. So with the full strap, you can hold two limited limits of ducks. Um, and, you know, we know that a duck strap's not for everybody. Um, some people like something a little smaller. So that's where we came up with the single limit strap or single limit tote. Um, it's, you know, got the old Tommy wire that you can slide the heads in and they're a little more compact, a lot smaller. You can clip them on to pretty much anything. Blind bag, tree, um, wherever you want. Moving on to the turkey hunting side of things. Um, here we went with the deluxe turkey strap, um, just like everything in the duck hunt accessories. Um, everything's you know hand cut, and um, these also have the original bottom line inlay on them. Um, the center strap runs through a middle section where you can move it back and forth to position it um, wherever you'd like. Each end has a brass square ring. Um, to push the strap through, makes the loop. You can put it on turkey's head, turkey's foot, um, thumb over your shoulder. And we also offer it in the minimalist turkey strap, which is essentially the deluxe turkey strap without the centerpiece. Um, it's just a piece of leather with the brass D ring or brass square rings on each end, and they, you know, roll up, tie up into really compact size and you can stick them in your pocket. We also um, created a mouth call wallet that fit in really well with Rolling Thunder. Um, it's got a braided leather lanyard that runs through two eyelets. Um, you can wear it around your neck. Uh, it's adjustable. You can you know, raise and lower it depending on how high you want it to ride on your chest. Uh, it, it's magnetic, so it's gonna stay closed. Um, it's not gonna flop open on you or anything like that. And on the inside, there's three pockets on each side, so you have room for six mouth calls. Um, if you wanted to put more than one in each pocket, you definitely could. Other than duck hunting and turkey hunting leather accessories, we have an everyday category. Um, and here we went with a dog collar, and we have two different dog collars. Uh, these are hand cut hand dyed. Um, one includes the original mossy oak bottom line inlay. The other one is solid full grain leather. And on the dog collars, um, you have 
brass D-ring, brass clip, and a brass belt stay. Along with the dog collar, uh, we also have a portfolio line. Um, within the portfolio line, we have a few different sizes, and each portfolio is gonna have a business card holder, um, a pen holder, and the five by eights come with a rolling thunder notepad as well. Our overall goal with the leather line of products was to offer quality products that were handmade. Um, you know, we offer the majority of the products are geared toward the hunting industry, duck hunting and turkey hunting, but we also wanted to offer products for everyday use as well. So um, me along with you know the guys that helped me, we've really focused on making sure that everything that we're putting out there is quality, it's gonna last, and it's stuff that you'd be proud to, you know, show your friends, wear hunting, take to a business meeting. At the end of the day, I'm super thankful to Spence for giving me the opportunity to be a part of Rolling Thunder um, and, you know, trusting me and allowing me to still hand make all the leather goods the old fashioned way. And I'm really excited about the future and can't wait to see what it holds.